Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Genealogy TV. Uh, today I want to talk about Google Books. If you're not familiar with using Google Books as a resource, um, this probably is something you might want to pay attention to because it's a great little resource and um, let's jump into it. So I'm over here on Google, just a Chrome application by the way. I prefer Chrome because it works well with the Google Gods, obviously owned by the same company. And so if you just go over here and uh, you type in uh, a, a an ancestor, you're going to get you're going to get all kinds of stuff, but it's going to be everything in the world of Google. So what I prefer to do is I go over here, and this is my collection of stuff. If we go hit more, here's Google Books. By the way, you can actually grab this and move these things around and put it above the line so that you have it a little bit easier to see. And so if we click over on Google Books and then type our ancestor, in this case it's going to be Henry Henley, Henry Henley, and I'm going to put Randolph County, North Carolina because I don't want uh, all of the... Henry Henley is around the world and at all times, right? Henry Henley, Randolph County, North Carolina, and I hit search. And it comes up with a bunch of Google Books. And keep in mind, Google Books is trying to digitize really old books. So a lot of times this stuff comes up first. Well, the first one that came up was History of Rush County, Indiana. And I'm like, well, that's not Randolph County, North Carolina, but I happen to know that my Henleys are Quakers a lot of them, and Indiana was another area that they were migrating to and from. So I went ahead and pulled it up. Let me pop over there. And what I did was I searched for Henry Henley. And as you can see, every time Henry and Henley and County and North Carolina popped up. So what you can do is you can refine your search while you're here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this search here. I'm going to search in this book over here and I'm going to search Henry and hit go. Now it's going to come up with all the Henrys and all the Henleys, but what I can do is I can put quotes around that and make it exactly Henry Henley. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. So I can put quotes around Henry Henley and then hit go. And bingo, it shows me every page that Henry Henley is mentioned. Well, after just a quick, brief moment, I see that there's Henry Henley, son of Joseph and Paniah. Henley was born in November 1805 in Randolph County, North Carolina. Well, looky there. Okay, so uh, I can peruse this book. And oh, look, it, this one has a free ebook. So if I click on that free ebook, I get something that looks like this. And so when I click on read, it takes me to the first page. And here again, I can search Henry Henley in quotes. Now keep in mind, when you put something in quotes, it's exactly the way you type it. So if there is a reference to Henry M. Henley, then it is not going to show up in the search results. So you need to search for all variations. And here again is the different references to exactly Henry Henley. And look, all these references to Randolph County. Don't necessarily get stuck on the fact that it's Indiana because somebody wrote about him in a book uh, about him coming to Indiana from Randolph County, North Carolina. So that is a quick tip on how to use Google Books. Search your ancestors in Google, but narrow it down to Google Books. That's my tip for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified each time we upload a video. And I'll leave you some links over here that might be of interest to you uh, for more tiny tips. Talk to you later.